And we are back. Nimrin and Deer and friends coming back for a little more Greedfall. So, we've been sitting here for a bit. I, I finally actually remembered to do... Uh oh I've discovered Diddy Kinnon and it went away by the time I got there. Oh dear. I've been hearing some voices and hopefully the... Uh, hopefully the, the pause I did didn't end up causing everybody to die. Where? I'm trying. I can't move the camera from here. Okay. Oop, they're moving. Are about to get dicey. Well, um, ooh, um, Siora got the shank in there. Ooh, nice dodge. Okay, well, apparently they figured out how to use guns here already. Wild shaping? Oh lord, no. Nope. She just summoned a <laughs> she summoned a tree limb to kill that guy. Ow. Okay. Why was I here again? Ascent! You are too late, Siora. Mother has fallen and we are defeated. No, no. This is not fair! I am so sorry. Who is this man? He resembles one of us, but he's dressed like a Renaigze. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I, I'm sorry for your loss. The Congregation? And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people? Essel, calm not. down. You know that Mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight is nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. Uh. Ooh, I have an intuition option here. Good. So, you can speak of congregation neutrality. Insist. Insist on the recent defeat. No, no. Um. Ooh, I like this. This this seems like it would. This should be intriguing. I can remember the ritual of death. Whatever that means. We got here as fast as we could, I assure you, and we have fought by your side. Listen, after a battle, whether lost or won, the elders say that we must return the dead to the earth. And tend to the wounded. He is right, Iseld. This is no time to continue the fight. Truly spoken. You are right, and you know our traditions. I feel weak. You need to return to the village and care for your wounds. We will watch over the others. Thank you. I'll see you again, Siora. Thank you for soothing her anger. We must tend to the wounded now. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Yeah, Look at this massacre. Look. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. Heal all the survivors. What? Okay, um... I'm not worried about looting. What the heck, survivors? Um, do I have... Uh... Okay, so... I have to find survivors. Lord. Um... Oh, these ruins are very strange. Yeah, I don't have time. Um, oh, what name did you call this place again? There was once a battle. I missed one. A great victory for our clans. Mm, okay. Strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes. This it means this text is great and all, but um, I would like to dig like around a little on the side. Sprinting site. here. We might be able to unearth. Well, I'm hoping this doesn't count against my time. Oh, 
I mean, I'm sad for her loss, don't get me wrong, but... I beg of you, help me. That's probably not gonna end well. Still, you dare to breathe. How can you hope that I am here to save you? No, I... What have you done with my mother? That's pity. Uh -oh. I, I beg of you. I, I don't want to die. Then answer! Siora. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's beat, let's beat the bigger people here. Stop. Look at yourself. You're acting like a beast. A beast has far more majesty than these monsters who have traded their souls. The, they have taken her. The queen. They took her. Then she must still be alive. They would not have bothered to carry away a corpse. She would have chosen death before I mean, capture. Maybe. They must have wanted her alive. We must find her. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. There's a big massive battlefield full of loot here. The game is testing my patience. I've got like a quest marker on the one hand. Okay, wait. Crap. I can't... R I'm getting caught on level geometry. That's no fun. They put a timer in front of me and then... And now I'm having to sprint to try to figure out where this person is. Okay. Is this right? Yeah, okay. There's a survivor here somewhere. Uh, is this a survivor? What is this? Oh, that's searching ruins. Oh, son of a motherless goat. Okay. This is aggravating enough that like, I, it, they're almost impossible to see in all of the freaking bodies. Um. So the survivors all down here, maybe? Okay. This is the... <laughs> Does it just turn out that the one I found was, you know, conveniently enough... Can't find anybody who. Oh, there's one. Okay. It's over there. I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. I think I'm leaving the battlefield now. So. This is surprisingly anxiety-inducing. That I'm like wanting to yell at the game every time I see a. Uh, I get huh, Eric or that Fred gets hung up and I'm like, come on. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwant. He will take care of you. Okay. This does help that Siora is giving me a bit of an aura uh, an audio cue. Over there, when I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You now have enough strength to return to the village. Find Arwant. He will take care of you. Okay. <laughs> Says one more. Um, hmm. Alright. I do think it's funny that, yeah, that the first one I found was... Another warrior who survived. Where? I do not think that we will find any more of them now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he, has, he's, he has a big quest you marker over his all. head. Thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. 
Alright, good. Okay, now we loot the bodies. Um, an old... A broadsword saber? A broadsword saber? That sounds really weird, you know? It sounds like one of those, um, you know, like the, the jokes about the, you know, the glaive, geese arm, glaive, geese arm, glaive, glaive, geese arm, glaive. Um, it's, yeah. I'm actually curious, am I going to be able to carry everything I'm finding on all these bodies? Um, I mean, this is probably a valid question. I saw, like, gold shiny stuff, like, all over the place. I'm just hoping I don't get... No, oh, that, that, that weapon has a name. That, that's promising. Finding the glowy spots where, you know, there are lootable items. I don't know, see, this feels sort of weird that I'm, like, you know, just running around scavenging corpses, but I'm, I'm not terribly fond of, you know, what's going on here. And, like, oh good, he just had money. Well, I can, I can probably carry infinite money, so that's not a problem. But it, it feels weird, I was, I remember reading the Iliad, where, you know, anytime somebody dies, like, there's an instant effort to, you know, strip the, you know, the, the dead warrior of his possessions, so it's not like it's unheard of. There's some kind of flying monster over there, yeah. That's not, that's not just effortless looting of bodies, so we're not gonna, we're not about that right now. Um, do I have I gotten everything from down here? It's still like I might have gotten everything from down here. Although I do have to be careful. As I've mentioned, the procedural crate generation means I could potentially just load up my whole inventory of, you know, the game just keeps saying, oh wait, no, we changed our mind. This one has something. Um, anyway. Really should try not to step on the bodies now that I'm not in a frantic race to, you know, finish a quest in time. How Fred or even Siora would have known that I was on that tight a timer to <laughs> to heal the dead was probably not accurate. Um. All right. Now we can run back up here because I think there were more dead bodies. Oh gosh. Ugh. The bears are already back. Oh. Son of a gun. Alright, well, I guess there's no help for it. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth trying to plant my trap again, because I've, you know... I'm gonna give it a shot, but... Uh-oh. I'm stuck. this. Alright. Still not super fond of having to kill all these bears. They got in here really fast, but... Magic potion. The tracker's tunic. Okay. How much more room do I have? Oh, yeah, that's right. I've leveled up. I'll level up elsewhere. But... Let's see, where's my inventory? Alright, I've still got room to carry like 57 pounds worth of stuff. Out of curiosity, what happened What happened to the guy over here? Is he still here? Nope, he, he got up and left. Mayhaps the fact that we spared him will end up becoming important later. Um, alright. I still think it's funny that he had called us in for the fight, and, you know, 
there was one guy. Yeah. It's like we kind of wailed on one person. Lots of coin guards here. Hmm. Alright, I'm not seeing... Oh, there's a lootable body. Swiftness potion. I wonder if that's movement speed or attack speed. Okay. Alright. There used to be a house here. We thought better of it, though. So I've got a quest marker to search ruins. Sorry, Ciara, I really didn't mean to tackle you. I know this has already been a rough day. Um, eh. Let's go ahead and do the level up while... So let's see here. So what do I get out of this? One-handed blades on unarmored enemies... The kick unbalances more. I barely ever remember to use the kick, so yeah, that's probably not the right play. Increase the destruction of armor of the alchemical preparation elemental damage. Firearms destroy more. I use firearms way more often than I use the... Uh... Okay, I don't have any points in either of those. Alright, so yeah, I... <laughs> I don't mind doing the level up so you get to see, you know, how I'm building the, you know, how I'm building Fred as a, you know, combatant and, you know, citizen of the world of Greedfall, but, but yeah, looting, you know, looting everything is probably not the right play, you know? Alright, hmm. Let's search the ruins. Let's... So, yeah, my only quest at the moment, I have searched the ruins, so I guess I finished whatever that was. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm not going to look at the codex. You know, not everybody is as interested in lore and background as I am. And, like I said, sorting the inventory. I have a reputation as, you know, Mr. Inventory Screen. So, if I have forgotten, yeah, i got to go this way to get to this, to get to these ruins I'm supposed to search. So, we'll see. It's nice not to be sprinting everywhere and just holding the X button down like a madman. See, it's a campsite. Let's do that. Alright, I've set up camp. No, I don't want to gather the companions. Well... I guess I kind of have, because they're already right here. This Vasco doesn't just kind of, like, spontaneously show up. Oop, stuck, stuck on a rock. Collect some iron. Ooh, I got a lot of iron ore out of that. It's ever, I, whenever I get around to learning how to, you know, how to upgrade things. With a blacksmith, of course, because, ooh, here's a chest. It's lootable. All right. <laughs> this place is positively lousy with worn tricorns. How long have we known about Tier for D again? There's another chest. Turns out this chest is a mimic and it's just going to eat bread. Fury potion. Some ammo. That's good. Old engraved axe. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Where am I bulk wise? Okay, I've still got plenty of plenty of space. I'm trying real hard not to, you know, stress over it too much, but I do I do have a tendency to want to hang on to everything. So off camera for what it's worth, I like went through and you know checked all of my gear and sold anything that I had of which I had doubles. So some old rusted sabers and things of that sort. Okay. I'm supposed to be searching these ruins. Look, there are some images on these walls. Images Let's on the walls. Let's get wall. closer. Oh, I presume those walls. Not. There's. This looks like it's a signboard for like an inn or a shop or something. Okay, sure. Um. It's like a drawing for something from like Breath of the Wild, doesn't it? This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You've never come here. The 
You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. Oh, Oops. these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. That my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaigi. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully. Until the men appeared from the sea, intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth, ripped down our forests, destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that okay. even their own people came to fear them. Oh. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were they desperate. They left out the dying volcano a bit. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a <laughs> guardian of wrath, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. It is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. Well, people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malachor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more, nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine. Okay. So, we're gonna have to find... We're gonna have to find Siora's mom. Um... Where'd she go? Oh, she's, she climbed up the slope a little bit. Okay. Alright. On all Manawi. My mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigedo. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. But you are already busy. We'll talk about it again once you have more time. Anything else? What? Wow. I must leave you. See you later. <laughs> By leave you, I mean, you know, just stop talking. You know. <laughs> There's something to be said for the uh, the Mass Effect route where you didn't really do the serious dialogue you know, unless you were on the ship where you know, <laughs> where it was nice and contained as opposed to it happening out in the wilderness and me s s awkwardly saying, sorry, got a jet. And, you know. Oh wait, my campsite's over this way. Alright. So this is... This has been exciting. I like how I, you know, was apparently just carrying the table, you know, to my campsite here. And does this give me a, a looks like a maybe a faster way back around. Huh. Kinda curious. There's some question marks up here. I mean there's question marks everywhere, but Alright. So we've gotten some lore. We've gotten a chance to, you know rescue Siora's sister, I believe that was, but not her mother. You know, we I don't know how much we did in the actual battle. We Kurt and I were wailing on one guy and then all of a sudden, you know, cutscene declared it was over, but you know. So <laughs> gather the companions, travel, sleep, flying stuff down there. Feels like my objective at this point is to go back to talk to Constantine, since apparently Siora isn't okay with letting us, you know, like, you know, try to rescue her mom yet. Presumably because I can only be on one companion quest at a time, and Kurt got there first by virtue of his not being the result of a life or death battle. Uh, so, this is a good place to press pause on the video. Once again, thank you for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of the uh, Nimrandir Plays Greedfall series if you want to see how Fred and his friends got to this place on the island continent thing of Tear for D. We'll be back for some more Greedfall next time.